Slovaks started the tournament as the little team that wanted to, and they looked like it against Canada, pushing them before finally falling by a score of 3-2. Then they had another frustrating outing in their second game against Finland, losing by a score of 1-0. Let's pick it up after that. The Slovaks got things on track with a pair of gritty 4-2 wins against the USA and Kazakhstan, both of which had to be nailed down in the third period. Uh, this is one happy uh, with the puck and away from our puck. Um, and playing hard for 60 minutes and um, you know coming strong um, out of our own zone and um, you know try to get the third and neutral zone as fast as we can and maybe be more creative in the offensive zone but um, you know nothing special just uh, playing simple. There was a 5-1 win over Belarus, no problem, followed by a 1-0 win over Switzerland and their most important game of the preliminary round, an emotional 5-4 win over France on the last day of preliminary round competition. That win qualified them for the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinal, it was a back and forth dramatic game against Canada with Michael Hanzus' game winning power play goal against the Canadians, nudging them into the quarterfinal. But then in third, it's, you know, they were saying we're just hanging around, you know, it's a one goal game, we're just hanging around, hanging around, and, you know, it's a one, one shot. And obviously, we scored two, we got some breaks in the end with power plays, and, you know, that was a big, big difference. How long until you stop smiling? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, till tomorrow probably. Yeah, till tomorrow, but uh, no, it's great for us. Uh, you know, we are a really small country, and uh, uh, everybody's happy back there right now. I'm pretty sure everybody's celebrating back home. So, so we gotta enjoy it right now, and then tomorrow uh, take a take a good rest, and then get ready for uh, for, uh, for semifinals. For the Czechs, it was an up and down journey through the preliminary round. An opening 2-0 win over Denmark was followed by an uninspiring 4-1 loss to the Swedes. They held off the Norwegians 4-3 and hit stride with a big third period to defeat Latvia 3-1. That was followed by a confidence-building 6-0 win over Italy and then a tough 2-0 loss to the Russians. The Czechs closed out the preliminary round with an 8-1 scrubbing of Germany. That set up Thursday's dramatic semi-final against Sweden and Milan at Michalak's game-winning goal with 29 seconds remaining. One of their most inspiring players has been 40-year-old veteran Peter Nedved, making his IIHF Ice Hockey World Championship debut for the Czechs. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun for me and I feel good, so, uh, so far so good. We'll see, you know, there's more games to come, so we'll see how my old body is going to hold up. All time at the IIHF Ice Hockey World Championship, the Czechs and the Slovaks have met 12 times, with the Czechs winning nine of those games, losing two, and tying one. The last time they met in a playoff round, you have to go back to 2001. It was a quarterfinal game, and the Czechs won that one by a score of 2-0. Reporting for IIHF.com, I'm Paul Romanek.